Hello, YouTube. I have somewhat of a death notice. I got a ugh, bad power supply here. At least, well, it's not completely. It's dead. Not dead. It still works. But uh, this is the power supply out of the derp top, the little Foxconn net top over there, that is now running the outboard Ultra LSP 550 that used to be on the studio computer over there. So. I don't know if I said this in another video, but the fan in this actually initially died at one point, so I replaced it with a Cooler Master fan, as you can see by the shininess there. And it's been working ever since, but uh, on that net top, since I was turning it into a server, I went to the BIOS to mess with the PC health settings, being the setting that lets you uh, that lets the computer turn on after a power outage. I was going to set that to on. And I just took a look at the voltages for the shits and lulls, and I noticed that the 3.3 uh, uh, voltage rail was at 3.5 something or other, and I was like, why is that not 3.3, derp? So uh, I talked to some people online about it, and uh, I went to check the voltages again after the thing had been booted up for a while, and uh, the voltage was steadily climbing. So, what's happening in here is there's a bad filter cap in here someplace. It's an FSP group power supply. It's an FSP 150-50 GLT. And the reason this thing died is because it came in the case. All power supplies that come in these cases are extremely cheap and extremely unreliable. But, I didn't have any, TF other, any TFX power supplies, so I've just used this one as it was. And in the net top here, you have the TFX form factor power supply because it's, well, it's tiny. It's a mini ITX board with a TFX power supply in a tiny box, essentially. And these net tops were a one piece deal. You can go on Newegg and still buy these types of net tops. Basically, what comes with these is the board, the power supply. That and the processor because the processor is actually soldered onto the board. It's an Atom process. It's an Intel Atom processor. Um, but yeah, this is the power supply that was in it. It's got a bad filter cap, so likely I'm gonna have to recap the either recap this thing or steal my fan back out of it and scrap it. I'm probably gonna recap it though, just because it might come in handy at some point. I do have another power supply on the way at some point. It's going to be an A-open power supply that is a known good power supply. This one I'll put down by the workbench and get around to it sometime, I guess. If it's just a filter cap, then it shouldn't be a big deal. I mean, that's one, that's one or two capacitors in here. But I might just go ahead and recap the whole thing just in case. But this is a word to this is just a word to the wise. Remember when you have a power supply. Remember when you have a power supply you don't completely trust or just if hell do this with any computer. Go into the BIOS like every month or so and check your voltages because you never know if uh, a cap is going bad. Even in an expensive power supply, it can still have bad capacitors. You never know. I mean, this one was incredibly cheap, but it still lasted about a year. It still lasted about a year or so, a year and a half. Even with the shitty cap, even with shitty capacitors in it. But hopefully I'll fix that soon. But word to the wise, remember to check your voltages every now and then. Because this thing was getting close to 3.6 on the 3.3 volt rail. And that's not a good thing at all. If you want to know more about these power supplies and their quirks and what makes a good and bad power supply, check out the uh, video that this is a response to. Uh... Max Arcade can tell you a lot about these since he's had more experience repairing these than I have. I've only ever opened these up, cleaned them, and inspected capacitors and things like that. Although I'm learning. I'm slowly learning. Uh, but yeah, just thought I'd uh, make a video about this and just warn you guys to check your voltages every now and then because bad things can happen if you don't. But that's all for now. I'll put this brick on the ground again and have a good one, everybody. Ciao.